blatantly false. With town meeting less than a week away, officials say if you are still holding on to a mail-in ballot, you should probably at this point drop it off in person and do so soon. Local 22's Devin Bates spoke with Secretary of State Jim Condos today and local town clerks about how they are getting ready for Tuesday. Devin is live tonight in South Burlington. Hi, Devin. Yeah, Lauren, this year Vermont towns were given some flexibility in how they run their town meeting day elections. So that's why we're seeing everything from elections getting delayed, mail-in ballots being sent to everybody, or sticking with the status quo. Needless to say, it's been pretty busy at Secretary Condo's office, but he expects smooth sailing on March 2nd. I think since we issued that directive, we've spent every day, uh, my team working with the towns, uh, whether it's town clerks, select board members, how they're going to operate. In South Burlington, every voter got a ballot in the mail earlier this month, and additional ballots were sent out to voters who registered after that date. City Clerk Donna Kinville said the problem is there haven't been a lot of them coming back. We sent out over 14,000 ballots, and as of last night, we've only gotten 2,100 back. Conventional wisdom says that mailing everyone a ballot improves voter turnout, but Kinville is worried that it's done little to change a general lack of interest in town meeting day affairs. I know it's because it's harder to know about the issues because you have to go looking for them, but it kind of surprises me every year that such a low turnout comes for this election when it really is one that, that hits the closest to home. This is where the future of your city, your town looks like. This is where your budgets, this is what your schools look like. These are the people who are setting things up. The city of Rutland landed on the other end of the town meeting day flexibility spectrum, with officials ultimately deciding against mailing ballots out to voters and going with business as usual. We're doing just what we normally have done in, in recent past. We're not doing any kind of uh, you know, group mailing that people wanted to request and ask them to give out like they have in the past. And we're accommodating that, but we're not doing a special mass mailing. In the coming months, that status quo could be changing for general elections in all Vermont municipalities. The Senate Government Operations Committee passed a bill that would make universally mailed ballots a permanent feature. People have very busy lives, uh, and it's not always easy for them to get time off from work. You know, being able to vote from your kitchen table, being able to take time to fill out your ballot, not feeling rushed when you go to the polls. Uh, I think is a good thing. Here to drop off their mail-in ballot in the rain just outside the city to haul doors. You are advised to do the same. Check what your town is doing as far as sending in those ballots. There's really no guarantee that they will be counted if they are sent out through the mail system right now. Now, the one here in South Burlington, open 24-7. Live in South Burlington, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.